Hello and welcome to a new video on cryptography for everybody. In today's video, I will show you how you can run Crypto2 in Linux. Over the last years, our users asked me if it is possible to run Crypto2 in Linux. And up until now, it was not possible because WPF, the graphics library, was a problem. We were not able to get Crypto2 running because of it. But recently, a viewer made a hint how it is possible to run this. And today in this video, I will show you how you can execute Crypto2 in Linux. I structured this video into five different parts. In the first part in the introduction, I will show you what you need to get Crypto2 running in Linux. Then I will show you the installation of Flatpak. This is one thing that we need to get Crypto2 running. And then I will show you how to install Bottles, another software we need for Crypto2 in Linux. And then, and this is the biggest part of this video, I will show you the configuration of Bottles and the installation of Crypto2 using Bottles. And finally, I will show you a demo. We will run Crypto2 in Linux. The goal of this video is to get Crypto2 running in Linux. And for that, we will use different softwares. First of all, I try to run Crypto2 in Xubuntu. Probably you will also be able to run Crypto2 on other Linux distributions. But in this case, I use Xubuntu. And in this video, we are running a virtual machine of Xubuntu. Then we need Flatpak. Flatpak is a utility for software deployment and package management for Linux. After that, we can use Flatpak to install Bottles. And Bottles is software to run Windows applications in what they call a bottle. A bottle is some kind of virtual environment. Then we also need Wine. And Wine we will install using Bottles. So you can say it comes with Bottles. And Wine is a compatibility layer allowing Windows applications to run on POSIX compliant operating systems. And of course, we will need Mono. This also comes with Bottles or we will install it with Bottles. And Mono is an open source implementation of Microsoft.NET Framework. And Crypto2 needs the Microsoft.NET Framework because we developed it using it. First of all, let's install Flatpak. You can follow the official installation page for Ubuntu using this URL. And by the way, I will put all the URLs below this video. Clearly, if you use another Linux distribution, you will find installation guides for your Linux distribution on the Flatpak webpage. For the installation on Ubuntu 18.10, Cosmic Cuttlefish or later, we use a command shell. So you first open a command shell. And then to install Flatpak on Ubuntu, just use the command sudo apt install Flatpak. Enter. And after this command finished, you have to add the FlatHub repository. This is a repository of Flatpak using the following command. Flatpak remote add, if not exist, FlatHub, then the URL here. I will also put this command below this video. This will take some time since it will download a few things, I think. And after we finished installing Flatpak, you can just restart the system to use it. In the next step, we have to install Bottles. The official installation page you can find here. And for the installation of Bottles, we still use a command shell. To install Bottles using Flatpak, use the command flatpak install flathub com dot use bottles dot bottles. Then after that, and this takes some time since it needs to download bottles, you use the command flatpak run com dot use bottles dot bottles to start bottles. But if you restarted your PC after installing bottles, bottles will be at least in Xubuntu also available in the start menu. Now that we have installed Flatpak and then Bottles, before we get to the live demo, here are some slides showing step-by-step -step how to configure Bottles and install and run Cryptool 2. And this is the largest part of this video. As you can see here, we are now in the virtual Linux in the virtual machine that runs Xubuntu. And 
Here we have the bottles application. When you first start bottles, you will get a few message prompts that you have to follow and close. And finally, you will see this window here. To create a new bottle, click on the plus icon here. Then in the new window, you can give your bottle a name. I chose Crypto2. Also, you have to choose the environment and the default is application and we keep that. And then you press create. Then bottles automatically creates a new bottle. This also takes some time. After the bottle is created, you can just close it. Now we are here in the details view of a bottle and we have to go to the settings by clicking on this icon here. Here we are in the settings view and we have to change a few settings that are marked here. I changed the runner to this vine. Then I deactivated the DXVK and VKD3D. These are graphic libraries that we cannot use. At least in my virtual machine, I cannot use these. Maybe on your PC, you can use these. You have to test this on your own. But for me, I had to disable these all three here. Then we have to go to the advanced display settings, also in the settings menu. Click on this icon here and a new window pops up. Here you enable a virtual desktop. And after you enable the virtual desktop, you can enter the screen resolution. In my case, I have a full HD monitor, so I entered 1920 by 1080. Also, when you scroll down here in the window or you resize the window as I did, you can see the renderer option here. And I changed the renderer also to GDI. Maybe you can choose a different renderer, but with my virtual machine, I need GDI. Then you press save. Now you're back in the details view of your bottle and we have to install a few dependencies. To do so, you go to the dependencies here and you click this icon here. Now you see a list of dependencies that you can install into your bottle. Scroll down to the mono dependency. Then click on download here. This will download the mono dependency. After that, since Crypto2 is based on the .NET framework 4.7.2, we have to install this dependency also. Here you have .NET 472. This is the .NET framework 472, as you can see. Also press download here. Then it will install this framework. But before it installs the 472 framework, it will install all the frameworks with lower versions. Every time there will be a pop-up, a setup for that .NET framework that you have to follow a new Window will pop up, you have to press OK, then install, then the next one will pop up and so on. This was at least for me the most time consuming part of the installation. And even if nothing happens, just wait, the windows will pop up and the .NET frameworks will be installed. Follow this until you have installed the .NET 472 framework. Then go back to the details view. And now, finally, we can install Cryptool2 in our bottle. To do so, we press this play button here. A new window will appear where we can select an executable. To install Cryptool2, clearly you have to download this from our web page. I downloaded the nightly build 9545.1. In your case, this could be probably a newer one. So just download it and then in the select executable dialog here, select the executable, the setup of Cryptool2 and then press run. Then this pop-up will appear that it will launch the setup of Cryptool2. It takes a few seconds and then you see the standard Cryptool2 installer. I selected English here and pressed OK. Just go through the installer, press next, select the folders, install, and then the installation should run. After the installation is finished in the last screen here, select launch Crypto 2 now. And I also, every time I install a new version of Crypto 2, I select the reset Crypto 2 configuration to default. Probably you don't need this, but it's not a problem to select it. 
and then press close. After that, the virtual desktop will appear and you will see the splash screen of Cryptool 2 and you see the loading bar of Cryptool 2. It will now load Cryptool 2. And finally, you have Cryptool 2 in Linux and you can use it and work with it. I tested many features and so far it didn't crash and everything worked very well. The only thing that doesn't work is the online help since the online help needs the Internet Explorer and clearly we don't have an Internet Explorer in Linux. Now that we know how to install Cryptool 2 in Xubuntu, let's start and use Cryptool 2 in Xubuntu. I'm here now on the desktop of my recording PC and I want to show you how Cryptool 2 runs in Linux. To do so, I installed Oracle Virtual Machine here and here I have a Xubuntu Virtual Machine. Then I just start. I just log in. And now I have here my Virtual Machine with Xubuntu. To start bottles, I just go to the menu here. I enter bottles. And I start bottles. Now you can see here my Crypto 2 bottle. And I just click it. And then I press here. You can see Crypvin. So it installs a program Crypto 2 here. And I just press play. Now it will launch Crypto 2. Here you can see the virtual desktop. Take some time. Here you see the Cryptool 2 start screen, or splash screen. And here we have it, the Cryptool 2 start center. Cryptool 2 running in Xubuntu in a virtual machine, and the virtual machine runs in my recording Windows PC. But clearly you can also install this on a bare metal. Xubuntu or Linux machine. And now I can show you a few things that work very well. Let's for instance start crypt analysis. Let's start the visionaire anal analyzer. One thing I realized is that the UI, the user interface here looks a little odd compared to uh, Windows. For instance, this is a little blurry, but to see it more clear, you can just use the full screen version of the analyzer of the presentation. Now let's just press play. And now we analyze a visionaire cipher in our Linux environment using Cryptool 2. And I think this is really amazing. This is quite fast also. So here we have the revealed key, secret key, and so on. That starts a little more complex script analysis process. For instance, let's search using the key searcher, using entropy, can use the key searcher. Of course, the use we want for, also full screen of the presentation, press play. And we search an a for an AES key with half a million or 700,000 keys per second. So, and here we already found the key. So this is very performant. And as you can see here, also such a component with a very nice presentation also, also works. Let me just search for the, ah, here it is, presentation speed. This is because I use a virtual machine and the screen is a little too small. And here you can see that the visualization also works. Also, I tested Cryptool Store. And as I said, the only thing so far I realized that doesn't work is the help. When you press help, since it needs the Internet Explorer, you won't get the online help on Linux. Yeah, and this is everything that I wanted to show you. I have shown you how you can install Cryptool 2 in Xubuntu using bottles, and it works very well. I hope you liked what I did. If yes, please give a thumbs up. Also, if you did not yet subscribe to this channel, please do so. This really helps us to grow the channel and to make Cryptool 2 more popular. And if you're a Linux user, please install 
Crypto 2 using bottles and give us some feedback if everything works, if there are still some problems. I hope that this is now a solution to also use Crypto 2 on Linux. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.